Hey everybody, my name is Martin Tyner and this is Susan that's doing the feeding here and we've got a little baby jackrabbit. It's Not either sure. a brand new born jack or I suspect it could be a cottontail about 10 days old. And this one came from, was it Washington County? Tokerville. Tokerville. So yeah. What I'm feeding it right now is called a day one stat. It's just a, a little bit of nutrition and moisture to help it normalize its stool because stress and formula can give them diarrhea so easy. This one a dog caught. Where was the blood? Was it from the mouth or it was in the ear. The blood was on his ear. I on don't his know. Ear. Okay. Okay. It's our little cottontail's turn. Hi little girl. How you doing? You coming along nicely now, huh? Are you? Yes you are. She's a big eater. She likes her food. And so this is another tremendous success. Um, these rabbits, when they come in, um, their digestive systems are extremely delicate, and it's really hard to raise them. But you know we've done a good job with this little girl and. Uh, big thanks to uh, one of my volunteers, uh, Kay Ann. She, she helped us a great deal with this little one. Now this one's getting kind of close to being able to be released. And so we're gonna, we're kind of finishing it off here. You can see it's just voracious. It says, I want more, I want more. You can see it's running around really good here. Hi baby. Just a voracious little eater. And uh, she's getting some fresh uh, weeds, some al fresh alfalfa that we pick around the, the yard, and uh, Timothy hay, and uh, again a little bit of uh, small mammal nursing formula. But she's been putting on weight wonderfully. She's over a month now, she's only getting fed twice a day, right? Yeah, she's only getting the the nursing formula twice a day, but uh, she gets to to eat all day long with um, both the the fresh greens and the Timothy hay that we put in with her. Okay, it's all gone, sweetie. You want more, huh? So we need to go pick her some more alfalfa. Yeah, we do. We gotta get you some more alfalfa, huh, sweetheart? Yeah, give you some more hay and some more alfalfa. Here's the. Uh... Up. I'll go wash out her syringes. Oh, baby. Okay, well, we'll pick you some more alfalfa and get you some more Timothy hay. Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the office of the Wildlife Foundation. It's like always, it's a mess because we have literally tons and tons of paperwork to do on a daily basis. And this is our little cottontail baby, and and this one, this is our last feeding for our little cottontail. The cottontail is going into the wild again, which we appreciate, and you can see has has grown a great deal we've had him about f or had her about four weeks i think and so come on, yeah about four weeks come on sweetie 
And you see, she still likes her bottle, uh, though she really doesn't need it. She eats perfectly fine. And uh, so she she really is wean, but uh, we've again wanted to make sure that they put on as much weight as possible and get as much food as we can possibly get into them. Hi, little one. Yes, and you're doing so good. Now this little cottontail, again, um, bottle raised, just as tame as can be, you would think, but not really. Um, as they get a little bit older like she is right now, I can't pick her up, I can't touch her. You know, she'll she'll uh, drink from the syringe for me, but if I try to touch her, she'll run and hide in the box. If uh, there's any movement at all, she'll try to hide in the box. You try to pick her up, she jumps um, violently. Uh, she is, she's not a domestic rabbit. She's a little wild cottontail, and she has a very strong fight-or-flight instinct, uh, and that's, that's what they need. They need that very strong fight-or-flight instinct to make sure that... Um, they, they have a good chance of survival. I've got this really wonderful spot that I've got in mind for her. We're going to release her today. And it actually is a uh, vast, vast open prairie area with a lot of rabbit brush. And it borders uh, uh, you know, hundreds of acres of alfalfa. Uh, so, you know, she's it'll be a, a good place for her, the alfalfa. It is uh, one of her very favorite foods, and the rabbit brush in that particular area is very thick and very dense and gives her a lot of cover and a lot of protection from predators. So it should be a, a, a real safe environment for her. And so that's our little cottontail, and she's doing remarkably well. Everything works. She has uh, been a lot of fun to raise. You know, cottontails are, and jackrabbits both, are very, very delicate to raise. And so uh, we're very pleased that uh, because of their delicate digestive system that uh, we have been able to overcome her digestive issues and make sure that she has all that she needs. And we've got her up to, she's about half size of what, what the normal cottontail is around here. So she's about half, half her full growth. But again, by now she's mom and mom's no longer caring for them, no longer feeding them. They're strictly on their own, and she would be in the wild, running in habitat with lots and lots and lots of other cottontails. And so that's that's where she's going today. So I, I hope you guys have enjoyed that we've been able to uh, videotape her, so you can see the process that we use. Uh, another, yeah, just the littlest thing, anything that spooks her in any way. You know, she immediately, let's see if, hi, yeah, I don't have any food for you. Yes, I, yeah, so you don't, you're not even going to let me touch you, are you? No. Because like I said, she, she is wild. And so if you find orphaned wildlife, little, little rabbits, little squirrels, little chipmunks, you, you know, uh, if they do need to be rescued, you really need to understand they need to go to, to an experienced wildlife rehabilitator. Uh, they're hard to raise and, and they're not going to be a good pet. This is not an animal that, you, that, that you're going to be able to sit, sit down in the living room and hold in your lap and cuddle with like, like a domestic rabbit can. And domestic rabbits are wonderful pets, but not the wild ones. And so she's very, very alert. And uh, so we're really pleased. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. You um, will go ahead and videotape the release as well when we get them out to Habitat. And so we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Well, we're out here uh, in the kind of the place that I had chosen to release the, uh, the cottontail. This has um, got a lot of uh, rabbit brush, a lot of sagebrush, and there's a pretty large cottontail population just right here and and so we're going to uh, leave her with a little 
little extra grass, Timothy grass, even though there's a lot of grass here for her to feed on and lots and lots of room. She's doing quite well. Nice fistful of grass. So come on over and you'll see our little little girl right here. This is our cottontail. And she's a she's a priority. As you can see she's a priority. So let's open the box. See what our little girl is doing. Turn around where you can actually see her see her in the box. It's too dark to see her in there. There we go. Okay. Get our little girl. There you go, sweetie. There's my girl. There's our cottontail. There's our pretty girl. It's okay, baby. And as you can see, she's she's as wild as can be. And uh, you know, she's into her little bit of cover right there. So this this was the moment that we were waiting for. Is to get this little one healthy and grown up and she says you're getting too close to me. She's really quite happy out here to give her a chance of survival. Just up a pole ahead of us is a golden eagle. That uh, is looking for looking for his breakfast. Hopefully he doesn't find our little cottontail, but we've got her in a, a fair distance away and in some pretty good, pretty good heavy brush.